Hello everyone and welcome back to my second channel. This is my second channel, it is not my main channel. And if you thought it was my main channel, then guess what? You're a stupid little worm. Mm -hmm. That's right. If you came here and honestly thought that this was my main channel and not my second channel where I like to get goofy, wacky, silly, and honestly just downright random, then you're off your rocker. I haven't posted here in a bit and honestly, it's just because I haven't had any good ideas to post here. I don't really know what to post on my second channel. I sort of started it because I had all these ideas that I felt like weren't good enough for my main channel and I wanted to post on there, but then I sort of ran out of those ideas and now I just don't have any ideas for this channel. So if you have any ideas for what I should do, let me know. I've got a LaCroix here. It's a pamplemousse, which means grapefruit in French. That's refreshing. That's good. All right, well, you probably saw the video that I posted on my main channel about all the TAC products. In that video, I reviewed the commercial for all these TAC products, and I actually bought a bunch of them for that video and ended up only using a couple of them for sketches and stuff, just because I wanted to have them just in case I needed them, and I only used like two of them. But I have all of them that I talked about. I have all of them here. You know, I figure why not turn this into a second channel video? I don't want all this stuff to go to waste and not get any content out of it, you know? Because I spent a lot of money on it, you know? So I've reviewed the commercials. Now it's time for me to give my review on the products, starting with the tack bat. I already opened this one because I used it in the video. But let's just take a look at the box real quick to see what we're getting ourselves into. 40 times brighter than this regular flashlight. And there's a picture of a flashlight. Also, I don't know why they really like taped this thing shut and put like cardboard all around it. It was in another box. And then when I opened that box, there was just like cardboard taped all around it. So I had to like peel that off and destroy the box while opening it. Probably ruining any value that this thing might have had on like a collector's market or anything. I don't know if people are gonna be collecting tack products in the future, but if they are, I'm out of luck. Visibility for four nautical miles. That's crazy. What are nautical miles? Is that different than just regular miles? Does that mean it works underwater for four miles? Is this for Navy guys? Let me just Google this real quick. What are nautical miles? Okay, this says that it's 1.15 miles. So a nautical mile is actually more than a mile, if Google is correct. This can actually light more than four miles, which is perfect for those situations where you need to see something that's four miles away. Oh, and if you're wondering, yeah, this is the 12 inch edition. So we're getting crazy. And ladies and gentlemen, here it is. The Attack Bat, AKA the Attack Bat. Bing. Oh yeah, it doesn't have batteries in it yet. I gotta put those in. It requires three AA batteries. Clink, clunk. And now let's put this baby to work. I'm curious to see how bright it actually is and how good of a weapon it is. It's a tactical flashlight and a tactical bash light that you could use in a practically brash fight. All right, let's turn this baby on and see. Ooh, wow. Okay, it looks bright. Wow, I, that's a cool lens flare too. Look at that. I'm gonna light up this back wall, but first, you know what? Let's test a civilian flashlight first. I'm just gonna use my phone flashlight. Pretty standard brightness. Actually, probably less than average brightness. And, okay, that's shining on the wall, but it literally doesn't look like it's doing anything. So that's what the phone flashlight does. Now let's try the tack bat. Holy moly, jeez, dude. Okay, this thing is bright. <laughs> Wait, that's so annoying. So to turn it on, you just press it once, but then if you want to turn it off again, you have to cycle through all the different modes, which I think like goes down in brightness and then turns on strobe mode and then a different flashing mode and then it turns off. So let's say you've got it on, right? The super bright light, you're creeping through your house at the, in the middle of the night trying to find the bathroom. You find it and then you're like, okay, great. I've gotten to the bathroom, it's time to use the potty. So you press the button, you press it again, it gets dim, your eyes start to adjust to the darkness and then just when you think it's time to take a little pee, bang, 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 ah! And then it turns off. Sort of like you're using self-defense mode on yourself. All right, let's take a look at how good this thing is as a weapon. All right. I was half expecting the light to stop working when I hit him in the head, because it just seems like something that would happen, but you know what? This thing's military tough. I mean, say what you want about the commercials, but I'm actually kind of, kind of impressed. This, uh, this is military tough. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I had to do that to you. Should I try self-defense mode on myself? Should I see if it disorients me? I'm gonna do it, but from a distance. Okay, so this is self-defense mode. I'm gonna set it on my desk and then I'm gonna walk over here about the distance a bad guy would be, and I'm gonna be doing my little bad guy things and then I'm gonna turn around and see if it disorients me. No, it didn't. All right guys, so I wanna test this out in a tactical situation. So what I've done here is I've set up a situation that I think we all pretty much fear in our homes. There's an attacker 
in my basement. Pretty much everyone's worst fear, a creeper from Minecraft, is in my basement. He's about to attack me, as you can clearly see. He's wild, he's crazy, and he's probably gonna be violent, if I had to guess. So I'm gonna act this out as if it's a real-life situation, and let's see what happens. Oh no! I hear a bump in the night! There might be something in my basement! Let's look around. We start with a wide beam. Is it you? No. Okay, those are always there. The wide beam is good for, like, a, a, a quick search to find out who's in your basement, and then, oh shit! Then you kind of zero in on him with this. Now I suppose what I want to do, as you can clearly see, he's about to attack me. This does not look good. I suppose what the tag commercial would have me do first is try self-defense mode. In the heat of the moment, you have to get to self-defense mode really fast. Luckily, it's only one, two, three clicks away, and now I'm in self-defense mode. And actually, I can probably even focus it all on him. His retinas are probably burnt, like, on fire right now if this was a real person. His, his eyeballs would probably be, like, burning in his sockets. I love that it's three clicks away. Like, if there's really an attacker and you're like, OH SHIT! Uh, okay, uh, hold on one second, and haha, gotcha, motherfucker. You're dead. Or maybe you're just supposed to walk around in your house with the self-defense mode going the entire time. Is anyone in here? Hello? Now that I've stunned him, I guess now the, the only thing really left to do is attack him. Because it's either I attack him or he attacks me. I guess do the stance. On your mark, get set, go! Whoa, fuck. <laughs> this was on, right? Yeah, it was on. Okay. It turned off for some reason when I, <laughs> when I smacked him. But Jesus, dude, come look at this damage. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about that. But you know what? I'm still kind of worried that he's about to attack me, so. Yep. Okay. Yeah, he's looking pretty bad now, but let me just go ahead and just make sure with this. You know, it's a good idea even if your attacker is unconscious with a giant gash in his head and he's missing one of his legs. You still want to defend yourself against him because he still is probably about to attack you. That's why I like to keep on self-defense mode. I'll probably just stand here like this until the police come. I'll say, honey, there's an intruder in the basement. Don't worry. I think he's dead, but can you call the police? And then I'll probably just wait here until the police come. And I think that's pretty much it, you know? I think that's pretty much- Hey! Oh, shit. Sorry. I thought I saw- I thought I saw him move. Well, I think we're good now. Thanks, TacBat. Alright, well, that's the TacBat. My review? 9 out of 10. It's actually pretty good. I can tell it's made out of genuine, uh, aircraft-grade aluminum or whatever. And it, it makes quite a beating stick. Okay, next up, the TAC Visor. This is the other one that I actually used in the video, if you remember. Two-in-one car visor. I feel like they didn't talk about that enough in the commercial, but there's a nighttime driving visor and a daytime driving visor. The second you flip it down, you see a giant truck coming at you. This guy looks really happy. And then there's a nice before and after picture. Before, it looks like you're driving straight into heaven, and after, you're just in... New Mexico or some shit. So I have already opened it and I have it right here. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. It clips onto your car's actual visor, your, the non-tactical one, and it goes up like this and then when you need it, it flips down like so. I actually am noticing that it kind of does that thing that it did in the commercial. Hold on one sec and I'll try to show you what it does. All right, watch this, ready? You see my reflection in it? But if I turn it this way, Bada bing, bada boom. There's the eagle. You can see him clear as day. I mean, if I take this off, you can still see him, but that's how polarizing light works. If you turn it, then you can't see him anymore. Maybe I should take this into my car and see if it actually works in there or if this makes any difference. All right, guys, time to test this thing out. I've got my visor here, my regular old visor that will block the road and all the cars and make it impossible for me to see. Let's get a quick demo of that. So let's say I'm like driving and it's so bright and I can't see it. So I put down my visor and as you can see, it's like pretty much useless. I can't even see the road anymore. Probably gonna crash and probably gonna die. That's why you want something like this, the TAC visor. I believe it just clips on to your normal visor, making it actually useful for once. Okay, so my garage opener is already kind of in the way and then it flips up like that. Let's just do a quick control test for comparison. I'm gonna drive without it. It's a nice snowy day and snow always reflects light, you know, sunlight, so it's it's very bright out. Let's see how I drive without the TAC visor. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Shit! As you could probably tell, it's almost impossible driving right now without some kind of 
some kind of help. I mean, if you want to just turn the camera so that they can see in front of us, it honestly kind of feels like staring right into a tack bat in self-defense mode. Let's go ahead and flip down the tack visor. Wow, okay, interesting. Huh. I cannot tell if this is helping much. I mean, it is making things darker. Because there's like bright windows behind me, like the side windows to the back windshield, I can see all of those reflected in this screen and it's kind of really distracting. And I can also see like my reflection. <laughs> I can see my mouth moving in the reflection here. As I said in the commercial, this is basically just like, it polarizes the light, which is basically what most like sunglasses do if you have polarized sunglasses. So I'm gonna see. I think that these are better. <laughs> I, think, I think I would just prefer to use these. Using them at the same time, however, this could be a game changer. Actually, I just like lifted my hand up and moved this thing. I, th I feel like that could, whoa. I feel like that could like drastically affect your driving abilities. Now maybe you can tell a little bit better how many reflections there are. And also this is a good example right now because the car is kind of bouncing. This is like jiggling as it bounces. So not only are there like these distracting reflections of things moving behind me, but like this is also bouncing, which is making all the reflections like just go like do, 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 do. One thing I will mention though, is that someone tweeted me and said that they actually have a tack visor and it's because they wear glasses. And so if they, if they have like glasses, they can't also comfortably wear sunglasses. So that actually makes sense. If I was wearing glasses, I wouldn't want to put on sunglasses also. Tack wallet. All right, this one should be fun. They claim this to be fire resistant and bow and arrow resistant. Let's take a look. Aha, uh -huh. Velcro, very cool. Ooh, what's this? Okay, it's just like, just list some of the features of the tack wallet. I thought it was gonna be a card to some like exclusive tack club that I was gonna get to be in. But it's just a stupid piece of cardboard. Lame. Oh, came with one of these, which is always fun to. And uh, overall, I mean, this seems like a pretty fine wallet. It's got the lanyard on it, which Nick Bolton really loves so that it won't get stolen. Oh, this only works if you're wearing a belt though, right? Cause the belt has to go through it. So that's, a, I mean, that's not gonna really help a boy like me. I don't wear belts often. In fact, it kind of makes a nice little loop for some sneaky little guy to come stick his finger through and just yoink. Uh, I think I'm gonna be attaching that. Okay, I don't have like a bow and arrow, but I have a pocket knife. I think this is a pretty valid way to test how resistant it is to damage. I cut through it right away. I sliced right through it. There's a big, there's a slice. I actually didn't think that was gonna happen. I kind of thought that it wasn't gonna go through, but nope, I'm just, I'm slicing it right through. It's it's not often that someone's gonna be going around stabbing your wallet, so I think you're probably good because I was really digging in and trying to slice it. It's not like I just went like that and it sliced. No, it doesn't. Okay, okay, well maybe it does. But yeah, okay, it does, if I go like that. How often does that really happen? The only time you have to worry about that is if you fall into like an industrial meat slicer and the only reason you would need your wallet to survive is so that the police can identify your your mangled corpse. Overall, I'm gonna give this like a three out of 10 because it's not a very nice looking wallet. It's not sleek. Honestly, it's not very tactical looking. I mean, it's got like Velcro, which is I believe generally understood to be like the worst thing a wallet could have by anyone who's anyone. I'm not super crazy about it. It didn't even hold up to the stabby stab very well. I feel like if I was wearing this in my breast pocket and a bad guy came up and started stabbing me, I don't even think it would protect my precious heart. And if you can't even protect my heart, then what can you do? Okay. Okay, it's tech shaver time. Let me just slice this open. And what do we have here? You know, I think one of the things I'm most excited about with this is seeing how well it works for Navy guys like myself. Guys who spend most of their time submerged in a swimming pool and grow big fat beards. Ooh. Damn, it came charged right out the gate. So this, I believe, has a rechargeable battery so it doesn't take any batteries and you just kinda shave, you know, like that. And it's got a little trimmer for trimming. Okay, this kind of looks cool, right? When I first took it out of the box, the first impression I had of it was like, this looks like a taser. I would say that that is kind of a tactical look. It looks like you could just kind of the one thing I want to test with this is how well it actually handles in water because that was one of the biggest claims they made in the commercial. Really the best way to test this is just to drop it in a glass of water like they do in the commercial and see if that really works. That'll do. Let's just fill up a glass of water 
and see what happens. I'm trying to think of really like a practical scenario that this would be helpful. And so far, the only thing I can really think of is like, I'm shaving, I'm looking in the mirror, getting a good shave, and then like all of a sudden like, oh no! Oh shit. Oh no! Oh no! I dropped my razor in a glass of water and it's fully submerged in there. And you know what, to their credit, it does seem like it's still working. I mean, it's still making the noise. That's really the only way I can tell. There's little bubbles coming out of the side. It looks kind of like smoke. Mm -hmm. I think maybe that's just air. Okay, well, it's not actually smoking as far as I can tell. So maybe it was just an illusion. Smoke and mirrors. You know what, actually, that's a good test for most people. You know, you're doing a shave and you drop it in a glass of water, but that personally would never happen to me because I don't drink still water. I only drink LaCroix. I think you know what we have to do now. No. Now, if it can handle this, I would be pretty impressed. As we all know, sparkling water is much more violent than regular water. Okay, so I'm shaving. I'm having a sip of my delicious grapefruit LaCroix. Mmm. Oh, no! Not my LaCroix. It's ruined. Or is it? Mmm. Nope, it's good as ever. And I can still... Probably shave. Well, look at it in there. It's like coated in bubbles. Well, well, seemed like that worked too. And I can still get a good shave. Hmm. Did that shave me at all? A uh, little bit, I think. Okay. It's kind of hard to tell because I didn't have much there to begin with. All right, well, you know, I'm gonna say the claim that it works underwater is true. I don't know if it like works underwater because like, I don't know if it really worked to begin with based on the review that we watched, but it does what it did on land underwater. Okay, well, bye.